23 child actors from horror movies you won't recognize today. Horror movies featuring children are among the scariest but also the highest grossing films out there. Here's a list of horror movies starring children to find out how their careers developed. Don't miss the top one, a highly acclaimed actor whose first big screen appearance was in a horror film. Number 23, John Franklin, Children of the Corn, 1984. The part of Isaac Croner in the screen adaptation of a novel by Stephen King was the most successful in John Franklin's career. Until recently, Franklin taught English, but in 2015, he quit and decided to get back to acting. Number 22, Lindsay Hahn, Village of the Damned, 1995. Even though Village of the Damned wasn't particularly successful, it can safely be called one of the eeriest movies about killer children thanks to Lindsay Hahn, who played the children's leader, Mara Chaffee. Today, Lindsay still acts in movies and also writes soundtracks. Number 21, DeVay Chase, The Ring, 2002. DeVay Chase, Samara Morgan from The Ring, kept her acting career going after the famous horror movie. On top of that, DeVay sings and voices cartoons. In her free time, she enjoys writing. Number 20, Linda Blair, The Exorcist, 1973. Linda Blair received a Golden Globe Award for the role of possessed girl Regan McNeil. Her career wasn't very successful after this, though. She was nominated for a Golden Raspberry six times. In 2006, she briefly appeared in Supernatural. Number 19, Jodell Furlan, Silent Hill, 2006. Jodell is known not just for the role of Sharon and Alessa in Silent Hill. In 2009, she starred in another horror movie, Case 39. Since 2015, she has been working on the science fiction series Dark Matter. Number 18, Emily Browning, Ghost Ship 2002. The part of Katie Harwood in Ghost Ship is one of many on Emily's record. In addition, she once declined an audition for the role of Bella Swan in Twilight. Today, Emily Browning makes music and stars in the series American Gods. Number 17, Isabel Furman, Orphan 2009. The role of the infernal girl Esther was one of the first ones in Isabel's career and made her a celebrity. In 2012, she appeared in The Hunger Games and then in the movie Cell in 2016, based on a novel by Stephen King. Number 16, Miko Hughes, Pet Cemetery, 1989. The role of Gage Creed that initiated Miko into cinema is not the only one in his filmography. He appeared on the series Melrose Place and Beverly Hills 90210, but never made a successful career. Number 15. Sissy Spacek, Carrie, 1976.
Sissy Spacek, who played Carrie in the eponymous adaptation of Stephen King's novel, received an Oscar and three Golden Globes during her career. In recent years, she rarely appears before the camera. Among her last works were the film The Help and the series Bloodline. Number 14, Ivana Baquero, Pan's Labyrinth, 2006. For the role of Ophelia, the Spanish actress Ivana Baquero was selected from a thousand contenders. What's interesting is that the script had to be rewritten for her since the original character was supposed to be three years younger. Currently, Ivana stars in the TV series The Shannara Chronicles. Number 13, Kirsten Dunst, Interview with the Vampire, 1994. The role of Claudia in Interview with the Vampire was a starting point for Kirsten Dunst's successful career. She has been nominated for an Oscar and Golden Globe and has made over 80 appearances in cinema. Apart from filming, Kirsten is actively engaged in charity. Number 12, Anna Sophia Robb, The Reaping, 2007. The part of Lauren McConnell wasn't the first success for Anna Sophia Robb, who also performed in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Today, she continues to act in movies and also studies at New York University. Number 11, Seamus Davy Fitzpatrick, The Omen, 2006. The young actor who played Damien in the sequel of the classic Omen from 1976 wasn't aware that he was portraying the son of the devil. Today, Seamus is pursuing an acting career but works mainly in TV series. Number 10, Cody Dorkin, Village of the Damned, 1995. Another young character from Village of the Damned, he played Robert, who did not become an actor. But his life is still directly related to cinema. Cody Dorkin owns a cinema studio and searches for young talent. Number 9, Louise and Lisa Burns. The Shining, 1980. Lisa and Louise, who played the Grady twins at the age of 10, never acted in films again. Moreover, they believe that the role had a negative impact on them since several schools turned their applications down because of shooting. However, that did not stop Lisa from becoming a lawyer and Louise a scientist. Number 8, Dakota Fanning, Hide and Seek, 2005. The part of Emily in Hide and Seek is in no way at the top of Dakota Fanning's record. Today, the actress is only 23, but the list of her films and awards is rather impressive. Apart from acting, Dakota works as a model and presents collections of famous fashion designers. Number 7, Roger Princep, The Orphanage, 2007. Roger played Simon in the Spanish movie The Orphanage that received seven Goya awards. He is now pursuing a career in acting. Number 6, Sayorsi Ronan, Lovely Bones, 2009. In Lovely Bones, Sayorsi played the part of Susie, a girl killed by a maniac. Her career is going fairly well. Besides numerous nominations for this role and others, 
the actress received several BAFTA and Golden Globe Awards. Number 5. Christina Ricci, The Addams Family, 1991 Playing the gloomy Wednesday Addams made Christina Ricci one of the most popular teen actresses of the early 90s. Despite the fact that she doesn't have an education in acting, her filming career is going very successfully, and in 2015, she landed the main part in the series Z, The Beginning of Everything. Number 4. Chloe Grace Moretz, The Amityville Horror, 2005 Her first success in acting came to Chloe after the role of Chelsea in the Amityville Horror, which became the starting point for her career. Among her works is the role of Carrie White in the remake of the 1976 movie Carrie, as well as numerous TV series. Number 3. Alex Vincent, Child's Play, 1988 The role of Andy Barclay in the movie about the deadly Chucky doll is the most notable in Alex Vincent's cinema career. Besides the 1988 movie, he also appeared in sequels that came out in 1990 and 2013. Number 2. Junio Valverde, The Devil's Backbone, 2001 In The Devil's Backbone, Junio Valverde played the ghost of Santi, a boy who died several years before the events of the film. He is still acting. There are roles on TV, feature films, and short films on his record. Number 1. Johnny Depp, A Nightmare on Elm Street, 1984 Johnny Depp's career started with one of the most popular horror movies of all time, A Nightmare on Elm Street. In the 1984 film, he played Glenn Lance, one of the teenagers who fell victim to Freddy Krueger. By the way, who's your favorite actor or actress? Share your preferences in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button below the video and click subscribe to join us on the Bright Side of Life.